All right. Sounds good. Okay, here we go. Started. <laughs> All right, welcome everybody to our Minksha Red class tonight. My name is Andrea Lehman. I am part of the Living Well Now team and have been using Young Living products for 13 plus years at this point. I'll tell you, when we got started 13 years ago, my mother-in-law gave us oils for Christmas. I had no idea what they were. They went in our medicine cabinet. Thankfully, she kept prodding me to use the products, and I was a school teacher. So as you can imagine, I would pick up everything that would come to the classroom, and these became my best friend. The first time I used it, well, I won't say the first time. It probably took two or three times of using it and seeing results before I went from skeptic to total believer. But it was amazing what it did. Once I started supporting my body with immune system, natural immune system support, I just stopped getting sick. I ended up going two school years without having to take a sick day. And I taught for a total of seven more years before I retired from teaching. And I only took two sick days in the entire seven years. Now, while I will tell you that Thieves was the first thing that I found that really supported my immune system, I started using Nature Red. I, I, I wish I could remember exactly how many months into our Young Living journey, but very quickly started using Nature Red monthly. And I know that that been a huge part of my immune system support um, from that time. 12 years at least that we've been drinking Nature Red on a monthly basis. So I am curious for those of you who are on the call tonight, that out of the 26 of you that have joined so far, are you already using Nature Red on a daily basis? Go ahead and put in the chat there if you are already drinking Nature or did you just show up tonight on the call and be like, okay, I've heard of that stuff. Maybe even I got a Nature Red packet in my, you know, box that I got from Emily when I signed up, but I don't know. I, is it really worth it? It seems kind of expensive, right? Heard that one. So we look, not yet. Yes, I am. Yes, every day. I try to drink every day. Yes, daily. Nature, nitro, and zing. Oh, yes. You're all into the Nature. Nope. Want to learn? Yes. Every day. Just started it for an issue two weeks ago. Four ounces a day. Uh, every day and my three-year-old yesterday no not using it yes just started this month okay awesome so first thing i want to let you guys know is that in july in the month of july in the living well now lifestyle group we're going to be doing a nature red challenge so if you're drinking it great you can participate if you're not drinking it yet get yourself some nature red this month if after the call you're like yeah that makes sense to me because you can be part of our challenge we're going to be doing some great giveaways and, and it'll just be a, a it's a good um way to start drinking it with other people and kind of have that accountability to make sure that you're doing it every day, having that habit in place. And I can almost guarantee you that you are going to see results and you will want to continue with it. I know that that has definitely been the case for me. So I just want to give you guys some stats and information before we get into the bulk where you're going to get lots of like recipes, different ways you can use the Nature Red tonight. You're going to get to learn some of the health benefits of Nature Red. But I think it's important to kind of know where as a country we are. All right, a hundred years ago, the U.S. was the healthiest of the industrialized nations. Day number 18 of industrialized nations. We are dead last in terms of health. So that can be due to a lot of things. You know, think about our fast food consumption, preservatives and everything, processed foods, contaminants in the environment, um, pesticides, sugar consumption. I've heard that we, as an average, consume 120 pounds of sugar versus two pounds of sugar a year, okay? 120 pounds per person per year versus two pounds per year. That was 200 years ago. Two pounds is what the average person consumed. So that's what, two, from two to, to 120, I don't even know how many times more that is, but crazy, crazy. Um, table sugar. If, it would, if they went to try to approve it today, they say that it would actually be considered a drug. That's how addictive white sugar is, and it's everywhere in our diets. Um, the vast majority of us are very unhealthy and unwell. It's a reality that meds are overprescribed, and that the vast majority of illnesses could be reversed if proper care and nutrition were put into the picture. So... Let's look at Nature Red. I want to tell you where it comes from and just a little bit of its history, and then we'll get into the fun. So um, it comes from the Nature Province in China. Don't get scared. You're like, oh my gosh, China. We don't want anything from China. 
this is, you know that China is a very big place, and this is very far away from where all of the issues in China came from. It's in the Ningxia province in China, which is right uh, down below the Himalayan mountains. So all of that good water comes down from the Himalayan mountains, and it, you know, floods the banks where the Ningxia grows, and so you've got all of the good minerals and stuff from, from those mountains. Um, the founder, Gary Young, studied people groups to see why they're healthy and unhealthy. And he found that this people group in the Nisha province of China, they were one of those blue zones, which is a, the place where there's more centenarians, more people who live to be 100 and in a healthy state. And so when he visited there and learned about the customs and the things that were important to them, he learned that Nisha Red, or not Nisha Red, but the Nisha Wolfberry were one of those things that they were consuming daily and they touted it as their secret weapon for staying well. So, he brought the Nixia Wolf Berries back to the U.S. and that's where Nixia Red came from. So let me pull up our screen so you guys can see the PowerPoint. There we go. All right. All right, so first of all, it's important to know that quality matters. And so with Young Living, Everything that they do is with quality in mind. Hopefully you've heard of the seed to seal promise. That's um, what when we bottle a bottle of oil or a bottle of nature red for that matter, every step from the time that the plant is planted in the ground to the time that product is bottled and goes to you, the consumer, every step is taken with integrity and with consumer's health in mind. These are some of the guidelines, some of the things that Young Living abides by um, when they are uh, planting and harvesting and uh, distilling products so that you know that you have a good quality. Can you, let me read just a few of these to you. <clears throat> so sustainable farming and sourcing practices are used, okay? Great care taken to preserve and protect natural resources and weeded fields so there is zero use of uh, pesticides. We use actually essential oils as pesticides, which is pretty cool. Uh, oils that retain all their natural consistent, uh, constituents and therapeutic properties. Use of food grade distillers with state of the art design and distillation methods. Low pressure and low temperature distillation without the use of solvents and synthetic chemicals. This is important because most essential oils cannot, most essential oil companies not say the same thing. Rigorous testing on each batch by internal labs and third-party facilities, and oils that are carefully reviewed through every step of production in order to meet or exceed industrial safety and purity standards. We are literally beyond organic. I can remember um, several times Gary Young talking about the organic labeling and how it was kind of, and I mean, it was better than something that is conventionally grown. Organic is better. But you could tell that his opinion that organic labeling really didn't mean anything. It wasn't actually that fantastic. And so he always said, we are above, way above organic in terms of how we do things. So I love, love, love that. All right. So, All right. So we are going to pause for just a second. Um, welcome, Nicole. I saw that you joined us. Um, we have our tonight are kind of watching a replay of one of these classes in a smaller setting. So that's probably why you see sometimes some other Zooms on there. So we're all kind of muted right now, but I want to just take a minute to pause. Um, Jen, would you be willing to kind of unmute and share just kind of a personal testimony from you um, on what Ningxia has done for you and your family? Yeah, absolutely. Um, just a little little backdrop. Um, I, I was excited to try Ningxia just because um, of a lot of information that when you had posted the graphic in the class and in the um, Ningxia challenge page, my biggest draw to Ningxia was the energy support. And um, I would say like just hormonal support um, and, you know, liver, kidney, a lot of that sort of, uh, a lot of that sort of stuff. I was drawn to it for that reason. Um, and my, I, I had a lot of years where I had a very high stress job and I was a new mom and my hormones were out of whack. And I was just experiencing a lot of fatigue, kind of chronic fatigue. And so um, I was excited to try the Ningxia Red. 
And, um, and I started using it pretty regularly and not necessarily every day, but pretty regularly. And I did notice that not only did I have a lot more energy, I was drinking a lot less coffee to try to energize myself. I found myself to be more calm. Um, I handled stress better. So I, I feel like that seemed to align with my regular consistent consumption of Ningxia Red. So I'm, I'm a believer. I love it. Um, and I have over the holiday season, I've kind of gotten away from taking it regularly and I can see the difference. So I'm really excited to start doing it again regularly inside the challenge. But that's, that's my Ningxia story so far. That's awesome. That is awesome. I remember when we did the challenge um, a few months ago, but probably it was July is when this video was from. And um, there were a lot of people that said a lot of things. One of them said, like, I'm just happier. Like, I'm just overall, I'm just happier with just everything in life. I'm handling work better. And so that's something that a lot of people do notice, um, what you noticed in yours as well. So thank you for sharing, Jen. We're going to go ahead and pick up where we left off on the video, and then we will pause again. All right, so why the charrette? Why is this a supplement that I have taken every single month for the last 12 plus years? So here, it can really be summed up in these three things. There's a lot more to it, get a lot more specific, but these are the three general reasons why you want to drink Nature Red. It supports whole body wellness, okay? It's rich in antioxidants and D-limonene, and it supports normal cellular function, energy levels, and eye health. I will tell you that I read an entire book by Gary Young on the nature of berry, and it literally addresses every organ and system in the body. There's something in nature red that helps every organ and system in the body. Um, so you can, with nature, you can add it to smoothies, juices, you can drink it straight, or you can even make fun things like popsicles and gummies with it. It's recommended that you drink one to two ounces a day, and it's best served chilled. So you have those. Um, the little packets, the sachets of them that keep in your starter kit. I would encourage you to throw those in the refrigerator and then before you drink it, shake it up because there is puree, the, the natural fairy puree is in the bottle and so you want to make sure that that mixes before you drink it. All right, so let's look at breakfast. A few ideas for you on, on breakfast. So this is just a smoothie recipe um, that you could take and it's, it has lots of good quality ingredients in it, but then you would add the nature red to it and that just steps it up. So half a banana, half a cup of frozen berries, any berries of your choice, half a cup of spinach. If you've never put spinach in your smoothies, I promise you, you don't taste it. So it's a really great way to add some greens um, into your diet without tasting it. So if you're not much of a salad person, but you know you need to get more greens, there you go, smoothie. So one scoop of pure protein complete, um, in the vanilla spice is what they're recommending. Two ounces of nature red, three ounces of orange juice. Now, you can add more water or almond milk or milk if you drink it to get it to the consistency that you want it, but here's the basic ingredients. And that is going to be a powerhouse of um, nutrition for you to get your morning started. All right. Here's another example. I love this one. So this is the PB&J smoothie. So you would do frozen berries, I like big strawberries, um, half of a frozen banana, two tablespoons of almond butter, a little bit of ground cinnamon, or you can actually throw in a uh, drop of cinnamon vitality oil if you have a cinnamon vitality, throw that in there. Eight ounces of unsweetened almond, almond milk or whatever alternative milk you like to use, and then an ounce of picture red, okay? Blend it all up and enjoy. Okay, and then here's the third one. Green goddess smoothie. So Two ounces of nature red, half a cup of almond milk, one cup of spinach, half a cup of banana, one mandarin orange, a fourth of a cup of ice, two tablespoons of plain or Greek yogurt. And once again, blend it all up and enjoy. All right, so three different, obviously you can do your own creations, but if you like the idea of adding nature red to a smoothie, these are just a few options for you. All right. And just so you know, the Young Living, the Pure Protein Complete that was talked about in there, um, one serving of the uh, Pure Protein Complete has 25 grams of protein. So that's a Young Living product that you can purchase um, and gives you a really high level of that protein. All right, so let's, um, let's go to another question. And 
against, do you have a winner? All right, so we're gonna pause right there again, and we are actually gonna do our own giveaway. And so um, for those of you that are joining on the call for us, what I want you guys to do in the chat um, is answer actually two things. I want you to tell me what do you normally eat for breakfast? And then also tell me what is the biggest thing that you are hoping to get out of this challenge um, in doing it Ningxia for 30 days. So go ahead and write in the chat. Jen, I'm gonna ask if you can kind of watch the chat and pick a winner um, in a few minutes. I'm gonna let them kind of write in and we'll watch some more and then we will do a giveaway at the next time that we pause. So, but for Becca and Nicole, um, and Jen, you can even do this if you guys want to write in the chat and write in. Um, so again, the first question is, what do you typically eat for breakfast? And then the second one is, what is the biggest thing that you're hoping to get or learn um, from this Ningxia challenge and Ningxia class? So I'm going to go ahead and hit play again, and then we will do the winner in the next pause. Hold on just a second, though. Let me figure out where I'm supposed to push play again. <laughs> um, here we go. And we're going to continue. I'm going to take a, just a very short break because I want to share with you guys some testimonials that um, we did a, a Nisha challenge last year in our LW and Lifestyle group. And so I just took a screenshot of some of the testimonials in that group and I thought that I could share with you. But I'm going to first share my own testimonial with Nisha Red. We started drinking, like I said, at the beginning of our Young Living journey. I heard it was awesome, I heard it helped with energy. Um, you know, I've heard about all the great antioxidants and stuff in it. So started drinking it. I was still teaching at the time. Now, I've been drinking it for probably two weeks or so when I came home to my husband. I was like, I don't know if I'm noticing anything with the nature red. He's like, are you kidding? You're not coming home and saying you're tired anymore. I was like, oh, because I'm not. So I think I was expecting this, like, huge spike in energy when really what it was doing was filling, filling in those nutritional gaps and I wasn't having the slump in the afternoons like I had been having um, prior to Nisha Red. And once I realized that, and a few times that I stopped taking Nisha, like for a day or two, like forgot to take it and saw how tired I was again, I never wanted to be without it. So I think sometimes with Nisha, you almost have to like stop taking it for a couple days to realize, oh, that's how I felt before I was taking Nisha Red. So let me read to you guys a few testimonials um, that came through that I thought were really good. All right. Um, this is from Shelly. I have so much more energy throughout the day. To be honest, I used Nature regularly for years and enjoyed the benefit. Last year, I got lazy with purchasing it and would only drink an ounce or two on occasion. Boy, did I struggle with fatigue. I'm so happy to be back on the bandwagon and feeling like myself again. Uh, Kelly says, my body is starting to crave nature red every day. I've noticed such a difference in my energy during the day, and I haven't caught what's going around the office. Uh, Diane said, before drinking Nisha on a regular basis, my eyes would burn in the morning when I first woke up, and I often put warm water or a wet washcloth on them to soothe them. Now that I've been drinking an ounce of Nisha every day, my eyes don't burn. Also, my husband and I are sleeping better. We are both in this challenge. Uh, let's see, I'm going to read a couple more to you. There were so many good ones on here. Uh, let's see. Okay. Every time our grandsons came to visit, they had runny noses, and often we would catch a little something from them. They're in daycare, and they're two and four. So convinced their parents to give them an ounce a day of nature red, and now when we see them, they rarely have runny noses. Everyone is healthier as a result. Awesome. All right, let me read one more to you guys. There's so many on here. All right, this is Chelsea. We have 10 people in our house, ages three to 37, and they all love Ningxia. It was hard for me to say only I can have this daily and the rest of you can, but yikes, 10 plus bottles a month. So I would just treat myself occasionally so we can all get it. So when I said yes to this challenge, I decided to gift myself Ningxia for 90 days. I love the now daily treat. I love the support it gives. It truly shows up in every system of the body. I love adding oils to it and seeing making syrups, dressings, love adding oils to it and seeing um, it's limitless and I can't wait until I buy 10 bottles a month because everyone deserves the benefits of Nature Red. All right, there's some others in here about um, intestinal system support, all kinds of stuff. So real quickly on those testimonials, Andrea, we had a question earlier in the chat about pregnancy. 
Can you just speak about pregnancy and breastfeeding, please? I went through two pregnancies and two breastfeeding sessions with Nature Red. I increased the amount I took just because I was working on nutrition for myself and for a growing baby and for a baby that I was nursing. So I just increased Nature during that time period. And it was awesome. All right. So let's move on to Nature Red shots. So this is a really um, fun way to, to get your Nature. And obviously, you can just drink Nature straight. You don't have to. It's, uh, you don't have to add anything to it. But you have essential oils. Maybe they're sitting in your kitchen. I know that we have all of our Vitality line in the kitchen. And so adding a couple drops of oil to your, your Nature Red is like a double whammy. You're getting the good benefits of the Nature Red as well as the benefits from the oils. So here's a, just a few examples. You can do whatever you want. You can mix whatever oils in you want with your Nature. But if you want like a strong immunity booster, Nature Red, Thieves, and Copaiba. If you're looking for better energy, Nature Red, Peppermint, and Orange. And for weight loss, Nature Red and Grapefruit Vitality. Grapefruit Vitality is a great one for um, the fat cells in the body. All right. So this is a Nature Bomb. I told you that we were going to talk a little bit more about Nature Nitro. And so um, if, you are, if you're having one of those days where, like, you just need a little something extra to get through. Maybe it's a super long day or it's been a really hard week. This combo is fantastic. Um, one can of Nature Zing, one packet of Nature Nitro, one to two ounces of Nature Red. You throw them all together in a cup and add a little bit of ice and it tastes delicious. It's super refreshing. You're getting all of the good benefits of the Nature both very because it's in all three products, but you're also getting a little bit of added caffeine, natural caffeine, green tea, um, caffeine, um, and something that tastes delicious. So that's called the Nature Bomb. Definitely recommend that. All right, so let's talk about some fun stuff here. Um, before, well, okay, let me tell you this real quick. So Nature Wolfberry, it's a complex carbohydrate, which means your blood sugar will rise slowly, reducing the risk of a sugar crash afterwards. This is one reason why it's much better alternative than conventional gas station energy drinks that are filled with sugar and catapult you into a sugar high that leads to a crash. So you can think of some of those gas station energy drinks that, that we want to avoid. This can totally take the place of that. Um, and one other question that I've, I've had a couple times, really in the last few, which is interesting for people who are wanting to drink Nature Red, they wanted to know about um, keto. Is it keto friendly? So I can't give you a 100% answer on that. Just know that it's berries that are in there and the, the carbohydrates in it is five or six per serving. Five or six carbs per serving. What is it, Anna? Did you see what we have there? Oh, it's seven? Seven? It's six. six. Okay, six, six grams of carbs. Six carbs. Six five per calories. Five grams of sugar. And it's, it is sweetened with stevia. Okay, so there's no other sugars in it. So I think, from what I understand about keto, that it probably is keto friendly and there wouldn't be too much concern with taking that if that is a concern for you. All right, so um, third question. Do we have a winner of the second or the first one? Tell me who the first winner was again. All right. So we are going to actually announce our winner for this call. Jen, if you want to go ahead and unmute yourself and announce the winner. The winner is going to be getting an orange Vitality Oil. This is one of the ones that we put in our Ningxia all the time. Tate loves it. And actually, as I was listening, I was thinking, well, maybe that's why he's so hyper all the time. Because if that's the energy mix <laughs> with Ningxia and orange, maybe we should change that. <laughs> and not put Nixia in it for him. <laughs> but it makes it taste really yummy. So Jen, do you want to go ahead and announce who is going to be winning the Orange Vitality? I would be happy to announce that Nicole is going to win the orange oil. Yay, Nicole. <laughs> I will get that shipped to you. I already have your address, so you don't have to worry about sending that to me. But congratulations, Nicole, on winning that. Um, very awesome. So I have to tell you guys, have well, first, Jen, I know you drink Ningxia. 
Um, and you did keto as well. And you still had great results, right? So you can maybe speak a little bit to like the question of, is it keto friendly? Can it still be done if someone is doing keto? Do you want to speak to that for just a little bit? Absolutely. Yeah. So the thing with keto is you, there's a couple of things with regard to Ning Shared. Number one, when it comes to keto, you just really have to budget your net carbohydrates. Mm -hmm. So as long as you, this is, this is actually a very low carbohydrate option, the Ning Shared at six grams, at six grams of carbohydrates. Um, and you just budget it in with your keto. A lot of times with keto, you want to be somewhere between 20 and 35 grams, net grams of carbohydrates a day depending on your body weight and just how your, your own body responds to keto. Mm -hmm. But also one of the things about keto is you have to make sure that you're supporting your body with sufficient nutrients, vitamins, minerals, because as much as you are, should be eating a lot of vegetables on keto, you are, you just want to support your body as much as possible to make sure you're getting enough nourishment. And so you have to also do a cost benefit and Ningxia is a no brainer because it's going to give you all that nutrient support that you need while you're doing it. That's a really great point. Thank yep. you, Jen. Thank you, Jen, mm -hmm. for specifying that. Yeah. Awesome. All right. We are going to start a little bit more of the video and we will do one more giveaway towards the end. Fun drinks. Okay. We're going to look at some mocktails and cocktails. Um, so this is the berry mimosa. Okay. This is the mocktail. Um, add an ounce of mixture red, an ounce of orange juice, and then you can add um, the ingredients to a glass on top of a champagne or sparkling wine, or for it to be a mocktail, you can add just some salt or water, okay? So mocktail slash cocktail, very mimosa. And then the other one over here is mixture red and just sparkling water, okay? So um, definitely a mocktail version make it look pretty good putting it in a champagne or um, wine glass. Looks yummy. Okay, <laughs> here we go. All right, so let's look at some dessert options, especially for those kiddos. If you have kiddos in the house, popsicles, if you're in Phoenix, are very appropriate right now. We were just over at some friend's house this afternoon, and it was, what, 110 degrees outside, and it's nasty. So, make sure have popsicle ideas. Take a bunch of fruits, so banana, apple, frozen berries, add some spinach in there, get your kids some spinach, um, and then add mixture to it. So six ounces of the mixture, you're gonna blend it all in a blender and then stick them in the, the popsicle molds, and those make a delicious popsicle that is healthy and doesn't have any of the refined sugars in bread. So that's one idea for us. Okay. Um, Is through essentially words because there are so many perks. But here's the 
deal. If you just came to Emily, maybe you're new and you got your essential oil starter kit. I always say that, you know, getting your starter kit is great. But the real win for you is when you shift from a toxin lifestyle to a toxin-free lifestyle. And Young Living has so many products, personal care products, cleaning products, you know, safe makeup, um, safe products for kids and babies and animals. So many products. I mean, I, I haven't checked lately, but I want to say there's somewhere around 700 products that you can choose from. And so with Essential Rewards, you get to piece together monthly whatever you want to order through the Essential Rewards program. So it's not like one of those auto ship programs where you're getting the same stuff every month and all of a sudden you have things like piling up in your house that you're not using. No, you get to decide, what do I need this month? Okay. So if we look at the things that you are buying from Target or from Walmart that have toxic ingredients in them and just switch them out for better quality products through Young Living. Here's all the perks of a century worth. You get loyalty gifts every three months. You get slightly discounted shipping over just a regular order. Um, you earn points to use on future orders. So let me explain that a little bit. For three months, you're going to get 10% back that goes into an account to use on products. After three months, so from four months to 24 months, you're going to get 20% back that goes into an account to use on free product. And after two years of being a loyal member, you get 25% of the order. You're getting 25% of that order back. What is the target card? Is it like 5% back? Something like that. So this is amazing, amazing, amazing in terms of um, money that you get back. And then you get freebies starting at 100 PB. So if, you're, if your total order is at least 100 PB, you're going to, every month, you're going to get that free oil that comes at that, that price point. But then Young Living has freebies at 190, 250, and 300. So depending on how much you spend in the given month on your Century Words program, you're going to get the freebies that come with that. So you can end up with a lot of different oils and different personal care products, whatever it is, for the month. So that's super cool. Um, you get access to exclusive discounted bundles, and it qualifies you to receive referral bonuses. So as you're using the products, I know that for, for Ange and I, and Deb is on the call, when we started using the products, we didn't have an intention of growing a business again in the beginning. We just wanted to use them for ourselves. But once you start having results, you kind of can't shut up about the products, the oils, and the ink shed. You are telling your friends, and you're telling your family, you all have a referral link. Okay, your member number is your referral link. And so you can give somebody that member number for them to put in as enroller and sponsor when they create their account. And then you're going to get a thank you check. Okay, so this guarantees by being on a century rewards, it guarantees that you will get those thank you checks if you help um, people to create their own accounts. All right, so I see some questions in the comments. So I'm just going to talk, speak to that for a second, and then we'll do our last giveaway. And then there's one more thing at the end I want to show in this video recording. But yes, Nicole, the one that we're talking about is the ER bundle. Um, I think I sent you a graphic in there. But basically, if you're already a member and you are already on the ER, there is a Ningxia bundle in there that comes with four bottles and then also a box of 30 packets. And so it's just also discounted. It's actually the cheapest way to get Ningxia. If you look at um, the graphic that is that I have sent out, Becca, I can send it to you too. Um, but it's the cheapest price per ounce. Um, usually, and just in general, when you order more in bulk and obviously four bottles and a box of 30 packets um, is a decent amount of Ningxia that's gonna last you a while. If it's just you and one other person, um, if it's a whole family, um, it's enough for the whole family and maybe even a month and a half, depending on how big your family is. And so um, when it's just more in bulk like that, it's always a cheaper price. So it's just kind of a nice way for those of us that are not brand new members to still get kind of a Ningxia bundle that's discounted because that Ningxia starter kit is only for new members. Um, so hopefully that clarifies on there. Um, but in the chat, this last giveaway is going to be a lemon vitality. This is another great one. You can't see it because of my lighting, but um, it's a great one to put in your Ningxia as well, just for extra. There is already some in there, but if you need extra cleansing or even energy, things like that, lemon is a great one to add to it as well. So um, if you guys want to put in the comments, what time of day do you need energy the most? 
Um, so put that in the comments. I'm going to go ahead and show this last couple minutes of clip while you guys enter your um, stuff in the chat. And then Jen, I'll have you pick a winner again um, for this last one as soon as, and we'll announce that as soon as we're done watching this last clip. So here is the end. Almost. There we go. I want to really quickly read to you a few things because I was kind of talking off the cuff with you and I missed a few things about Nisha that I want to make sure that you got. Um, so first of all, about the ORAC scale. So Nisha Red is super high on what's called the ORAC scale and this measures antioxidant levels in foods. So there are, there are visuals that you can see where it's a, a comparison between Nisha Red and things like broccoli or oranges or whatever it may be. And blueberries, because blueberries, berries are considered a high antioxidant food, and they are high on antioxidant, but in comparison to the Nietzsche wolfberry, they don't even touch it. So super high, and just as a reminder, antioxidants are the things that render free radicals harmless in your body. And what do free radicals do? They cause damage, they cause aging, okay? They cause things to wear down. It's like, um, I, I like giving the example of, you know, you slice open an apple and you let it sit there, oxidation happens, that's when you see it turning brown, or you know, we see a boat in the water that's all rusted, that's all oxidation. So we want to do what we can to prevent oxidation or free radical stress within our own bodies. So this is one way we can do that. Um, the other thing I wanted to read to you was just everything that's in the Nisha. So it is um, a superfood that includes these, these things, plum, aronia, cherry, Blueberry, pomegranate juice, and extracts, plus lemon, orange, yuzu, and tangerine essential oils. Um, so it's a great, you know, it has a natural blueberry, it has a stevia, but all of those other things are added to it as well. And then the last piece I wanted to get to you was that um, it contains amino acids, okay? So two amino acids that are in it are L-arginine and L-glutamine. Why is this important? Well, if you look up what those two things can do, this is just some of them, okay? So listen to this. Um, L-arginine is good for circulation and for the cardiovascular system. Uh, L-glutamine is good for immune support, uh, intestinal health, brain health. Um, it supports muscle growth and athletic performance. It helps to maintain healthy sugar levels. Okay, so this is a product sometimes people ask, I'm diabetic, is this a product I can take? I would first of all encourage you to talk to your doctor, but I'll tell you that a lot of people on our team have diabetes safely take this and it works for them. I actually had somebody um, private message me and say, um, for blood sugar support, I add two drops of Okatea and coriander every morning to make it red. So that's her recipe. All right. And Isn't that pretty cool? It can help with so many different things because of those ingredients that are in there and the levels, the high levels of antioxidants and things that are in there. So Jen, if you can go ahead and announce the other winner of our lemon vitality. Um, and then we will close up today with talking just about a, a few comparisons and then just make sure you guys are all set and ready for the challenge. So Jen, who is our winner for the lemon vitality? Our winner is Becca. Yay, Yay Becca. <laughs> And I know where you live. It's very close to my house. So I can drop your lemon <laughs> vitality off at your house. <laughs> Congratulations, Becca. <laughs> very good. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys a quick graphic here at the end. I might have to move these pictures to be able to find it. Um, just because a lot of people, kind of how she said in the beginning, they kind of see you know, prices and things like that and think, oh my goodness, like I just don't know that I can work this into my ever, everyday routine. And so I just want to take a minute to compare some of the things that some people, it may not be you, but some people, um, they choose to spend their budget on and, and this can be an alternative to that and replace not only that in the budget, but also replace it with the sugars for good healthy sugars. So this is kind of it comparing to a couple of the coffee drinks that a lot of people stop and get on their way to work every day um, or even as a treat for them weekly or however often it is. But a vanilla frappuccino has 14 grams of fat, 69 grams of sugar, we all know about how much it costs, right? Those are five plus dollars um, at the coffee shops and the stores. And so um, compared to Ningxia, that is, you know, $1.22 if you get the, the, the best 
ounce, price per ounce, more, no more than a dollar, I think 35 it is, um, for some of the other ways to get it. It's a lot cheaper, even if you drink two ounces, it's cheaper than these drinks, but it also um, is a lot healthier for you. All right, so if you look down there at the bottom, that Ningxia, um, in even, even not just Ningxia, but added with one can of LaCroix, so it's the Ningxia plus the LaCroix, even together is zero grams of fat and only two grams of sugar. And so um, it's just, it's a much healthier option. And if you look at the iced caramel macchiato, um, it's, it's a lot of stuff too. Um, so just in comparison, you know, the price that we pay for those drinks to give us energy, but also maybe a treat of, of sugars, to compare that with Ningxia, the price for Ningxia daily, um, as compared to the sugars we get a lot less and they're the natural healthy sugars from fruit. Um, and they're not the harmful ones. And so just a really great kind of just to put a reality check for some of us who maybe do choose to, to do the, the Starbucks drinks or the Caribou or things like that. Um, or, you know, stopping at, you know, Baskin Robbins, which is only in Arizona. I don't think I've seen one of those here. <laughs> Where's an ice cream place here in Minnesota, Jen? Dairy Queen. <laughs> oh, there you go. That's a good one. There's another one that we go to like Lane, but- cool. Cold Stone Creamery. That's, yes, that's another. And then there are some. There are little little mom and pop shops all over the place. Yes. Two scoops and whatever. Yes. So this again um, would be a great comparison to that. And even if you think just in your budget, right? Even if it's just you buy ice cream from the grocery store or you buy, you know, your coffee from the grocery store. Like this is switching things out. It's not something additional. It's switching it out. It's switching out for supplements and things like that that are really important that are worth investing in. And so just wanted to give you that little comparison as we end today to help you see the value in um, taking care of your wellness now and having a proactive approach rather rather than reactive. Um, and there was a, a quote that I saw someone post not too long ago. And it basically said, um, a lot of people are not willing to invest in their wellness until they have to, and they have to invest in their illness. And um, it's just kind of a good reminder to do the things now that we can to jump on um, to be the healthiest that we can be that what's, what's in our control so that we're not having to pay for it more in the end. And so I just am so happy for each of you because I know both of you have chosen to do the 30 day challenge with Jen and I, and we're excited for this challenge. If you're not already in the Facebook group, make sure that you have accepted that invite and you've joined the Facebook group um, as we'll have just a few little pre-challenge things that are in there. Uh, Nicole, I'm pretty sure that you already ordered your Ningxia in your last order, so I think you're good to go um, as far as your supply. And Becca, we will chat some more um, after this is over just to make sure that you find whichever bundle works best for you, um, whether that's just getting two bottles um, added to your ER. I would definitely add it to your ER, so process it early um, within the next day or two is my suggestion just to make sure that you have it in time for us to start on the 15th. So if, um, since it's a small group tonight, if one of you has a question, feel free to unmute and come live and you can ask a question. Jen, while they think about that, do you have anything else that you wanna to add to close us? Um, I think that all I would say is that, um, you know, go take a look at that graphic again. Think about some of the information that was covered today and think about the people in your life that need to take this challenge with you. Whether it's your sister, your coworker, your bestie, your mom, your dad. I mean, I know that I've got family members that struggle with, you know, they could use some support in some of these areas and they definitely could use the immune support, the energy and a lot of the benefits of antioxidants um, to support their wellness. So I would say, I would just encourage you to invite friends and family and um, understand too, that for every person you refer to this, you get some cash back in your pocket, which is just a double blessing for everybody. So yeah, I'd say yeah. that. Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you, Jen. That's really important. The other thing that I want to just add very briefly is that the way that we found Ningxia, um, I remember her saying briefly a little bit about it, but just to, this is my most favorite fact about Ningxia, is that we found it by researching blue zones. And if you don't know what a blue zone is, it's an area where the general population of that area is, is living into their hundreds, um, you know, past 100 years old, and they are still healthy. Um, and Ningxia, China was one of those, and that's where we found that one of the biggest things in their everyday diet was 
the wolfberry. And so that's kind of where our Ningxia comes from. And so um, just like everything else, if that's something that is helping this general population, a group of people with all different genes and just everything, if, if in general, a lot of them are living healthier lives later in life, uh, we know it's going to have some really, really great, powerful benefits for us too. So um, thank you guys so much for joining us tonight. We will get those prizes to you and we look forward to doing the 30 day challenge. <laughs> I hope you guys have a great night and we will see you soon. Bye.